Yo, 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 man, what it do, man? This is your boy, North End Floyd, man. And it's the kickback, and this is another reaction review. So please like, subscribe, share, do all those good things, man. You know how we rock out, man. But look, man, we got another reaction review of, you know, top nine sightings that, you know, astronauts in space see that prop that NASA don't even want to tell us. NASA be holding out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of NASA. If I see somebody from NASA, bro, we catching that fade because y'all not telling us what we need to know, man. So I'm calling out NASA right now, one-on-one. -on -one. I want to fade with any one of y'all who's holding secrets, man. Let it be known. Oh, nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. But, man, we finna get to this reaction review, man. We finna see what, you know what I'm saying, insane sights that they seen, you know what I'm saying, that they not telling us, man. So let's check this out. Let's see what's good. You know, I'm, I'm ready to dive into this. Space is fascinating, but there's Thanks. so much that we don't know about what lies in the vastness of its lap. On everything. As such, we make assumptions, hypothesize possibilities, and formulate theories based on our understanding of physics. But what about the things that we don't understand at all? Mm. The things that leave us scratching our heads? Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Shout Today, out to Lab 360. We will look at some of the most bizarre incidents that astronauts Damn, have experienced while on space. And you don't have to believe all of them, but keep an open mind, because like I said, space is strange, and there is so much that we don't know about it. Many astronauts who have visited space have a different story to tell. From an array of spaceships and, and bizarre floating hard. beings, this is, this is. to extraterrestrials, and weird I'm lights, intrigued. they claim to have witnessed many strange and bizarre scenes that will send shivers down your spine. Mm. So without further ado, here is Lab 36, why with nine weirdest space sightings? Tell us which one ranks the top in your mind. Number one, someone's knocking, but who is it? Imagine you're alone in a tiny spacecraft. It's your first time up there, all alone in endless space. Then suddenly, a knocking sound. That's what happened to Yang Liwei, China's first man in space, on his maiden flight in 2003. Yang said that the knock on the body of his spaceship was quite strange and scary. He went on to describe the mysterious knocking as the sound of a wooden hammer on an iron bucket. When he looked out of the spaceship, he did not see anyone. No While shit. nobody has decoded <laughs> this mysterious knock, other Chinese astronauts in later missions too reported hearing similar sounds. In uh. fact, in 1969, a test flight for the moon landing mission orbited the moon and on the far side, while cut off from radio contact oh, with Earth, the astronauts <laughs> heard a strange sound they couldn't explain. Hey, two, are hey that shit made me jump like a motherfucker, man. He just died. <laughs> hey, I was so into this video, bro. That thing said, Ch -ch -ch. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, man, let me get back to the video. Damn, bro. They caught me slipping, man. Are we being watched? <laughs> A small step for man, uh, don't do that a again. giant leap for mankind. These famous words by Neil Armstrong, mm. the first man to walk on the moon, were further enhanced by his sightings of not just a UFO, but a whole UFO parking lot. What? Imagine that. During the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, like chill, after Armstrong landed on the moon, it is believed that NASA lost transmission with the space mission for about two minutes. Oh, it is shit. rumored that during that time, Armstrong sent a secret message to NASA saying, these babies were huge, sir. Enormous. Oh God. You wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you there are other spacecrafts out here, lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They are on the moon, watching us. While there are several such tales about Armstrong and his first lunar landing, he himself is quite Some secretive shit. and reticent about his experiences. He will not confirm or deny such rumors. Perhaps because there is likely no factual basis for these musings? Or perhaps, they are so fantastical, that if true, they would create a huge uproar. 3. Yeah. A space snake? What? NASA astronaut Dr. Story Musgrave had a strange tale to tell. He claims he saw an 8-foot-long white snake Fuck floating through space. Here. A man with a solid reputation, it is difficult to debase his claims as untrue. What? When it was suggested that it could have been a hose detached from the spaceship, he strongly refused that allegation. Hmm. Many have debunked the sighting to be space junk. But Musgrave says so much quite space junk out there, bro. that the white snake or eel had its own. Man, we got so much fucking space junk out there, bro. It's just, we're just dirtying up space, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Somebody showed like a picture, like how it probably would look, you know what I'm saying? Just satellites and all kind of shit. We got this floating around, bro. It's very trashy. It doesn't look nice, you know what I'm saying? So if aliens see it, they'd be like, man, that's a trashy ass world, bro. Kind of like on Thor Ragnarok when he fucking went to that planet and it was all trashy. <laughs> that's how it is, bro. His own propulsion technique. Moreover, he says that he saw it twice. I guess you can be wrong once, but twice? He's seen we a white know. snake twice. Four. An array of UFOs. Seeing one UFO is exciting, yeah. perhaps intoxicating even. But what would you say to an array of UFOs parked in a line? Astronaut Gordon Cooper, who flew both the Mercury 9 and the Gemini 5, claims to have seen an entire convoy of UFOs during his time with the Air Force. Interestingly, 10 years later, he came across something very similar. In 1963, while on a solo journey around the Earth, when he was just finishing his 22-orbit trip, he saw a green glowing object hurtling towards his Mercury capsule. The scene was picked up on radar by the tracking station in Muche, Australia, which makes it quite extraordinary and very believable. When he described the incident to the United Nations, he it's said wild, that these bro. extraterrestrial vehicles and their crews were visiting from other planets. He said that while most astronauts are reluctant to discuss UFOs, in 1951 he had the privilege of seeing several UFOs, of different sizes flying in fighter formation, in the general direction of east to west, over Europe. It's crazy, man. What's that? Oh, Five. that movie dope. Strange Lights. In 2005, American astronaut Leroy Chiao, commander of the International Space Station, saw a set of strange lights in space during a spacewalk. Uh. While it could be rendered as skeptical, he was not alone in seeing this upside down V formation. His crew saw it too, as it flew past their spaceship. Oh, Some skeptics say that it could have been the light emanating from a fleet of fishing boats along the South American coast. Come on, However, bro. Chiao was 230 miles above Earth when this happened, and for lights to be observed so high up, is quite impossible. While Chiao is reluctant to believe that aliens from another dimension may have visited Earth, he is not ruling out this possibility entirely. Man, I'm tired of seeing these little gray little aliens, bro. Stop hitting us with the with the aliens, just some little short little gray dudes with big eyes, man. I'm tired of I'm tired of this fucking, you know what I'm saying, stereotype that aliens just look like that, bro. We don't know that. I'm tired of seeing that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just crazy, but uh, yo, shout out to Lab360, man. This is a dope video, man. Y'all go um, subscribe and follow their channel, though. But this is this is pretty good. What do you think? <clears throat> Six, a glass dome on the moon. Alan Bean, a NASA astronaut, describes space as looking like shiny, black patent leather shoes from the surface of the moon. However, as conspiracy theories go, Richard C. Hoagland believes that Alan Bean could possibly be seeing the space through the reflection of a glass dome left behind by an alien civilization from long ago. You never know. He posits this theory on the premise that space when observed from the moon should be inky black, infinite, unending, deep and endlessly black. It cannot be shiny. The only explanation thus for the patent leather shoe shine is a glass dome somewhere in space. And if this were true, then an alien civilization is not such a distant dream now, is it? 7. Animal Cemetery This one may not be so much of a believe it or not tale. Many astronauts staunchly believe that they have seen animal corpses in space. This what? is perhaps not so fantastical, because the first subjects to take the Galactic Express into space were monkeys and dogs. Yeah, but still. And when the mission failed, these poor dead beings were chucked into space, where they allegedly float even today. What? Shocking but true. Definitely an incident that is more sorrowful <laughs> than creepy. What the fuck? Eight, cylindrical shaped UFO. When you visualize That's a crazy. UFO, what do you see? A saucer shaped object with yeah, lights, tired, perhaps? Stereotype Whether shape. this image is a consequence of spaceships portrayed in Hollywood movies or pictures posted by space fanatics. Bro, I'd be pissed off, man. You know how much a cow costs? These fucking UFOs just taking cow. Man, I'd be pissed off, man, if I bought a cow. I'm like, yeah, I got this cow. I wake up in the morning, he gone. Fucking aliens didn't took him, bro. Boy, I'd be pissed off, man. Cows is expensive.
1996, cosmonaut Musa Minarev saw something very different. In 1991, during a Russian space station mission, he was watching a visiting space capsule dock nearby. While he was filming it, he saw a shiny object that seemed to be coming off the spacecraft. It was cylindrical in shape. This footage which he caught on camera of an object floating down, was believed to be a UFO. While many have dismissed it as space junk, Minarov believes otherwise. See, that's how space junk Nine. Work. An exploding UFO. Exploding. While several astronauts are hesitant to speak about their sightings, especially ones that are bizarre and unbelievable, and hover around UFOs, one person who had no qualms reiterating what he saw was Major General Vladimir Kovalyanik. Vladimir. In 1981, while working at the Salyut Orbital Station, as part of a crew manning Salyut 6 space station, he saw something strange in one porthole. Hmm. The object, which looked no bigger than a finger, was orbiting in space. He admits, however, that he cannot be absolutely sure about the size of this alien being. Just when his partner Victor Savinik was going to take a picture of it, the object, which they believe to be a UFO, unexpectedly exploded, leaving behind clouds of smoke. Damn. The object split into two interconnected pieces and looked very much like a dumbbell. While conspiracy theories regarding aliens in like a fucking spy when a spy get caught and they pop that shit poop and die and shit, that's shit, that's what happened to them. They got caught, had to blow up. <laughs> Damn. Space and spacecraft from other worlds are in abundance. The things that have been spotted by astronauts in space are open to interpretation. While there is no way to prove or disprove these mysterious sightings, it does make one wonder. Mm. Are we really alone? Man. Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Lab. Yo, man, that was a dope ass video. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> they caught me slipping at the beginning of this shit, man. They caught me scared. I got, I got shook. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, hey, like, hey, that's the top nine things, man. I don't know which one uh, that uh, kind of tempted me the most that, that perked me up, but that white snake, I don't know about that. Cause seeing a white snake floating through space, I don't know, man. Tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. But like I said, man, I thank y'all for, you know, tapping in with your boy, man. Please like, please share, please subscribe to the content, man. I'm out of here, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be 100, man. I'm out, man. Take it easy.